I love Harry Styles. I really do. He's my man crush. He's also my hall pass. Hi, I'm Johnny Orlando, and I'm going to be playing a game of song association with L. I'm going to be given a word, and then I have 10 seconds to sing or rap that word in a song. I think I'll do okay. I, these things are tricky. But before we get into the game, please be sure to check out my debut album. It's brand new. It's called All the Things That Could Go Wrong. I'm very... If. You know what we're going to do? I see what you're setting me up for, Al, you tricky bugs. If I could take away the pain and put a smile on your face, baby, I would. Baby, I would. If I can make a better way so you can see a better day, baby, I would. A baby, I would. For a long time, I always said, like, oh, I don't have any inspirations because I never... I always try to be myself as much as possible. I've definitely taken a lot of inspiration from Bieber over the years. I had the whole hair thing back in the day when that was popping. He's just like cool. He's just like cool as hell. Like you watch this guy just like move around and he's just like dope. So just I'll watch a video of him and be like, how the hell does he look that cool? Happy. Oh, dude. Cause I'm happy clap along if you feel like a room without a room. I had no idea that um, Pharrell's producer tag was dun, 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 like the four count until I was like, oh, we should start a song with just like a four count of the um, of the kick. And the producer was like, we can't do that. It's like, why? He's like, because it's maybe the biggest producer of all time is producer tag. I was like, that's why he does that in every song. That makes so much sense. I love you, bro. Love. Oh, I'm so sorry. Every night I close my eyes and wish I was still in love. That's my song. So the inspiration behind uh, "Someone Will Love You Better" is actually my girlfriend's younger brother, and uh, he went through a breakup. He basically just lost interest in his girlfriend after like nine months, which is a r relatively long time for like a high school relationships. He was upset because he had to tell this girl that he didn't love her anymore. She was upset for obvious reasons. And uh, it was a whole thing. And I just thought, I thought the whole thing was very interesting and relatable. Whether you're on either side, everybody's, everybody's experienced somebody drifting away from them. People are generally okay with me writing songs about them. I don't really tell people very often because I'm scared of what they're going to think. Not of the song, but just I don't want to deal with that. Better to ask for forgiveness. Is that sh Maybe. Red. This is just not how it was intended, but there's that Lady Gaga song where it goes, Red one. Oh, I had a little bit too much. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't really understand her when I was younger. It was very confusing. Because people would talk about a meat dress at school, and I'm going to be like, what the hell are you talking about, meat dress? Who would wear a meat dress? And then I figured out who Lady Gaga was. Summer. Uh, <laughs> last summer, last summer, last summer. If I could, I'd never leave. I'm still burning in the heat of you and me last summer, last summer, last summer. I remember we were in the studio. We had no idea what we were doing. Everybody was just kind of like floating ideas. And somehow The Notebook got brought up. Great movie, 10 out of 10. I cry every time. That was kind of like the premise and like the second verse kind of gives it away. And I did have a great summer when I was 14. I was, I was uh, doing really, really, really dumb things. I had far too much freedom and I took advantage of it. Party, one of my favorite songs ever, it goes, I miss when I knew that we would all show up, no doubt. Maybe I can throw another party at my house. Maybe we can throw all of our problems in the bag with the cans that we drank when our music playing loud. And I lose my mind every time he plays. Gus is, is my friend and also opens for me at, uh, at pretty much any show that I do. There's something about that song. It makes me so nostalgic. I love it. I, I shed a little, a little happy tear every time I listen to it. Damn. Oh, there's that young gravy song. Here. Damn, gravy, you so vicious, you so. What is it? Fine, clean. 
dance. I had this in my head. We have a One Direction fan here. Um, so we danced all night to the best song ever. We knew every line. Now I can't remember how it goes, but I know that I won't forget it. When I first heard that song, I was like, that's a bit conceited to call your own song the best song ever. But then I listened to it and I was like, I don't like this. And then I listened to it a couple more times and it was growing on me. And then I listened to it a bunch because we made a cover to it. And I friggin' love that song. Great song. You know, there's kids that don't know who One Direction is. That's crazy. That makes me feel old and I'm not 20. That's wild. But One Direction is like the butter to my bread. Light. <laughs> if you're falling apart, you can see through the dark. I will leave the light on. I will leave the light on. It's my song. Leave the light on. Oh my God. Woman. Uh. I don't want to do it. I have to, I think. I am woman. I am feeling. I am uh, sexy. I'm um, divine. It's a great song. It really is. It really is. I've just heard it so much on TikTok. Also, American Woman. It's the only line that I know. American Woman. By the guests who, who are Canadian. And we live in Burton Cummings' old house. My studio is in his room where he used to keep his Superman comics. So there's Superman wallpaper all over the wall. And I get yipped for it every time I turn my camera on. Mistletoe. Under the mistletoe. Hey love, the wild men follow the stars. The way I follow my heart. And it led me to a miracle. The first song I ever covered on YouTube was Mistletoe by Justin Bieber. My sister was like, why don't we just make a cover? I was like, sure, why not? Nothing really happened. I think I got like a thousand views in the first week. For the time, for like your first video ever in 2011, a thousand views in a week is not bad. We were pretty stoked. I had no idea what was going on because I was eight years old. All I really cared about was playing hockey and seeing my friends. That was pretty... I was eight. We just kept going with the covers because I thought it was fun. And I guess you could say, yeah, it kickstarted my career for sure. Maybe. Hey, I just met you. And this is crazy. But here's my number. So call me, maybe. It's hard to look right at your baby. But here's my number. So call me, baby. Before you came into my life, I missed you so bad. I missed you so bad. That was a generational reset. Everybody knows that song. Girl. Um. Uh. There's probably a thousand songs released per day that say the word girl in it, and I can't think of a single one. Is this the one that I fail on? Do I have to take the L right now? The L. Huh. Wrong. There's no way. There's literally not a singular chance that I don't know a song with the word wrong in it. Uh. I have to take the L on this one too. This is so upsetting. I hate losing. I told you, I definitely know a song with the word, with the word <laughs> wrong in it. In fact, I wrote a whole album about things going wrong. And it also happens to be the title of the album. And there's a song called All the Things That Could Go Wrong. That was the first song that I ever wrote about my girlfriend. I was just very, I just didn't want to, I just didn't want to hurt this girl. I know that I'll never do anything shady. I know that I'm prone to mistakes and lo and behold, made a bunch of mistakes. We worked through it, but like it's, it's it's hard. I thought it would be easy. Buy flowers, take her out to dinner, be a good person. But it's hard. There's that you will never think of that will go wrong. I was spot on. I knew I was going to mess something up, and I did it. I would describe all the things that could go wrong. Probably the music that I've always wanted to make. Because I started conceptualizing that album when I was like 14. Um, and at least I've done it. And I'm ready to do something slightly different for the next one. But this is like, this is, I'm so proud This is the that this is the debut and I'm so happy that it is. Was. You know it's not the same as it was. As it was. Answer the phone. I mean you're no good alone. 
I love that song, but the, you know, it makes me cry. And I love Harry Styles, I really do. He's my man crush. He's also my hall pass. I think I crushed it. I think it's mildly disappointing that I didn't get girl because there's a million girls in every song. And I know that for a fact that I have a bunch out. Anyways, can't win them all. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.